Hey, this is David from Dash Off Road. This week we're talking about modification, so looking at what you can get in a Y62 Patrol or a Land Cruiser 200 Series. Now, I've got a bone to pick with Ronnie Dahl, who just put a video out on the Y62 and basically said that it's hard to get accessories for it, which is totally untrue. Now, you can get lifts, six inch lifts, snorkels, side steps, front bars, rear bars, there's an assortment of bars that you can get. Um, there's a new lightweight bar coming out soon for it. Underbody protection, superchargers, uh, 18 inch rims, 7 inch rims, whatever tyres you want. Uh, roof racks. Name a mod that you can get on a Land Cruiser 200 that you can't get on this, honestly, besides maybe a catch can or a DPF. So there's heaps of mods out there and uh, don't let um, the video listen to Ronnie Dahl saying that there's limited mods put you off a Y62 Patrol. I guess about the only thing might be a GVM upgrade. You can do it, I have done it, but it's not easy. So basically you can get any modification that you want. Tyres, uh, you can put 35 inch tyres on without any lift at all. It's not probably not a bad idea if you do lift it a little bit. Um, makes me wonder how big a tyre you could go. Um, you can get 17 inch steelies without too much trouble. There's a few different 18 inch rims around, not heaps. Um, I'll show you a few images of them. Bull bars, ARB, TJM. Uh, there's a bit of an issue with Series 4s at the moment with the uh, radar coming out, so we're sorting that out. No, sorry, we're not sorting that out. ARB is very slowly, mind you. Um, opposite lock, of course. I went for the opposite lock bar because it was the lightest out of them all at the time, and they said there was no problems at all putting a winch in. Um, you do have to consider how much you put at the front of these cars when you're loading them up. If you put a winch, a battery, and a big bull bar spotlights, you're going to be, and 35 inch tyres, you're going to be very close to being over your front axle limit. So um, a light bar is not a bad idea. There is a new one about to hit the market, it's only 45 kilos. Uh, when it does hit, I'll do a, a thing on that as well. But it makes you think when you are setting up a vehicle like this about GVM, because everything weighs a lot. So if you can get lightweight side steps, it's hard to get a lightweight rear bar if you're going to go up in tyre size, the spare doesn't fit underneath the boot anymore. So basically if you are going up tyre size you have to have a, a rear bar with the tyre mounted on the back. At the moment uh, Razzler or through OnTrack or of course Kmart you can get through ARB or TJM quite easily. Roof racks I ended up making my own because I couldn't get the size just right but I still used the Rhino rack mounts and then just made the top and I wanted my solar panel to sit flush so I could still put stuff on top of my roof rack and now it's it's nice and low too so I can just get it in my garage if I drop the tyres to like 37 psi. Inside I've tried to keep my car as clean as possible. I have put some switches in. You can get some cool ones from Kogear. Um, I might even do that soon. But um, I haven't got UHFs high, like sticking out everywhere. I've put mine in the centre console. Um, I have tried to keep it as factory looking as possible. So you can get dual batteries, no problems. You've got to relocate the computer. There's a Piranha kit that does that, but you can relocate your computers and have that um, just a basically a yellow top 55 amp hour. It's almost the only battery that fits in there. What you don't need is like a lockup kit for towing. It does it fine on its own. Doesn't need any extra trans cooling. If you are towing a lot, you do want to service your trans regularly, every 30, 40,000 Ks and uh, you probably want to fit some airbags in the back, and I bet that's a contentious argument, but um, that seems to, if you own a Y62 on your tow, put airbags in the back, factor that into the cost. Don't do what I did and get the factory Nissan bar, a uh, tow bar for 1200 bucks when you bought it, and then decide you wanted a Kmart bar that cost another four grand. So think about when you're buying your car, if you're going to put bigger tires on, just get the Kmart or Razzler to start with. Other mods, what else do you want to know? Uh, put it in the comments below. A lot of people are pulling the rear seats out and putting in a flat floor now. Uh, I decided to just put uh, the, the Titan drawers on one side and then I can still have my 6th and 7th seat fold up out the back. 
There's some great mods online for putting batteries under the, the false floor as well. There's a few locations you can hardwire a compressor. Uh, there's one under the bonnet, which I'll show you on mine, uh, but you can also hardwire it under the false floor or even in the sidewall if you're one of those new ARB double compressor jobbies. Check out the Aussie Patrol forum. There's so many mods uh, on there that people are doing. Really, modifications to this vehicle are, you can get everything and do whatever you want. I, I will admit, some sliders are better than others that are available. Uh, my first set of sliders were absolute rubbish because they flex, so which wasn't a good fit. So um, I'm getting some lightweight ones made up um, out of uh, roll cage steel, so it's uh, uh, real strong and you don't have to have as much weight involved. The accessories are starting to blow me away. It's coming through all the different types of rear lights you can get, Nismo rear lights, um, the, the red rear lights, the, the front with LED lights. Uh, there's heaps of different light options available. <laughs> Some people are putting spotties behind the grill, that's kind of cool. No problems with underbody protection. There's oh, a bunch of manufacturers that have got stuff out now. Long range tanks. You can get nearly 300 litres of fuel into this thing which, you know, it's going to give you towing maybe 1100 k's, towing my three ton van. Um, if you've got a, you know, not the mods that I've got, you're going to get close to 2000 k's out of that range. You don't need a catch can. You don't need a DPF. You don't need a steel converter lockup kit. They do make snorkels now. Um, there's, there's three types that I know of that are available. You don't need to upgrade your air box. <laughs> Transmissions made with metal gears. The only thing I wish it had, and stuffed if I know why Nissan hasn't done it yet, is Apple CarPlay. That would fix all the issues. In fact, Toyota as well. The, the taxi layout that they've got in their interior, that would lift it so much and solve all the GPS problems and everything. Just go and do it, Nissan and Toyota. Seat covers, you can get canvas, I've got uh, denim ones, uh, gotcha covered, uh, was mine, green ant do them, the neoprene, stubby holder material ones, uh, that, all that stuff's available. You can get lambsle ones I've seen. Don't need to get a diff lock. <laughs> so it comes with diff lock standard in every car, every model. So if you're thinking about a, a Tourer, a towing tug, Please consider the, the Y62, I impressive vehicle, just jump on it. Don't worry about those land klugers, land snoozers, what do they call them these days? The two wheel drive Toyota big thing. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy these videos, a little bit of tongue in cheek with a bit of it. Uh, hit that like button or subscribe or both. Um, we really appreciate it and it helps our channel and it actually gives us feedback that we're on the right track and we should keep doing more of these. So if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is David from Dash Off Road. See you next time. Yeah, yeah.